and girls, my name is Teacher Lisa and today I'm going to be reading you a story called Splat the Cat, the Big Helper by Rob Scotton. So this is Splat and this is his friend Seymour. Splat the Cat, the Big Helper. Family meeting, Splat's father called from upstairs. So here is Splat and Seymour, and they are playing video games. We're a very busy family, Dad said. We all need to pitch in. So I've made a list of daily to-dos for you to check off each day. A to-do list, said Splat. He didn't have a very good feeling about this. So here's his dad and here's his mom and they made a list of things that Splat needed to do. Look at his face. Does he look happy that his parents gave him a to-do list? He doesn't look happy to me. Splat's jobs were to make his bed put away his toys, and water all the plants. But, Splat said, that's going to take me forever. If you do a little part, said Dad, it will be a big help to me and your mom. So he's reading his list, and they're not hard things. They're things that he should already be doing, right? He should already be picking up his own toys. Splat and Seymour went back to playing their game. After a half hour, Seymour pointed to the to-do list. We can do them later, said Splat. New rule, Mom said. No television or no video games until all your stuff is done on the list. Aww, said Splat. So this is Splat. After the meeting, he came downstairs and he went straight to play his video games. But he was there for such a long time that his friend Seymour says, don't forget about our stuff we need to do. And he said, oh, we'll get to it later. And look at his mom. Does she look happy that he hasn't done his to-do list? She doesn't look happy to me. <clears throat> Splat went to his room. It was a mess. It was a total mess. Let's get this over with so we can get back to our video games, said Splat to Seymour. Oh my goodness, look at his room. <gasps> he has clothes everywhere. He has all his toys everywhere. He even has his food in here. Not a very clean room. Splat made his bed. He put away his toys and then he watered his plant. Uh-oh. Look at him making his bed. What is he doing here? <gasps> Uh-oh. And look at him putting his toys away. <gasps> Does that look right? And look at him watering the plant. How much water he's putting in there. Do you think that is okay? Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. <gasps> All done, Splat said proudly. Is this really the best that you can do, said Dad, shaking his head. But we will take forever, said Splat. You know how they say that time flies when you're having fun, Splat's dad said. Splat nodded. He sure did. So let's make it fun. Splat decided to try. So look at his bed. He shoved all his clothes underneath. Look at his toy box. He shoved all his toys where he can't even close it. 
And look at what he did. He shoved everything else underneath his rug. And look at the poor plant. He put too much water. Let's see how they make it fun. This time when Splat made his bed, he imagined he was swimming in the ocean. His pillow turned into a giant shark and everything else on the floor became a different fish or a sea monster. So this is him using his imagination. Do you see him? He's pretending he is fishing. When he cleaned up his toys, Splat imagined that he was a pirate. Each toy was a jewel or a coin, and his toy box was a treasure. So there he is with his treasure map and making sure that all his toys were put in the correct place. The X marks the spot. When he watered his plant, he pretended to be a jungle explorer. So he pretended that he made this big thing to water the plant correctly. Look at now, just a little bit of water, not like he, before he got that big bucket and poured it on. Not okay. All done, said Splat. Great job, Splat, Splat's dad said. Now you can play your video games, said his mom. So, wow, look at his room. Doesn't it look much, much better? He doesn't have a big bump underneath his blanket, which means he put all his clothes away. Look at his rug. He doesn't have any bumps underneath that, which means he put his clothes away. And look at his toy box. The lid went on, and it made sure it closed correctly. And look at his beautiful flower that he watered just a tiny bit so that he doesn't kill it. He did a great job. As Splat sat down to play his video game, he noticed a few things that needed to be put away. I'll be right back, he told Seymour. I've got to go on a quick Arctic expedition. He never imagined helping out could be so much fun. So here he is helping his mom and dad do the laundry before he sits down and does in the video games. That's very nice of him. He's decided to help more, even though it wasn't on his list. Well, boys and girls, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story.